All right, all right. So we had to talk about Megan Thee Stallion's traumatized album. Now I'm gonna just say it right quick. This is not meant for me as a man. It is not meant for me. I have, bro. Listen, I like me a freaky girl. You know what I'm saying? I like me a little freaky girl. I like when they do them little things. Yeah, man. I like when they do them little things. You know, they get in their bag. They about their business. Yeah, man. But like, Shadi just doing too much. Now I get it. She is like she sells sex appeal. I get it. But like, bro, this too much. God damn. You see, it gets to the point. It's kind of like Nicki, bro. Like, I fought with Nicki, but there's times, like, there's certain songs Nicki Minaj has. I'm like, all right, bro, you talking too much. I don't give a fuck. But I'm a dude. You know what I'm saying? A girl might hear this shit. They, yo, they love that shit. But like me, like that body audio song, I hate that shit. Shout out Jay Gelato. He made me like that shit. Because that nigga be like, hey, try the body audio to the floor. I'm like, hey, I be, yeah, hey, that shit hot. I be shimmy, though. Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe it was here to talk about Megan Stallion song. And I do like like a couple songs on here, so we're gonna talk about it. So Megan finally dropped a new album. If you remember, like she wanted to get off a label with Carl Crawford 1501 and they said you have to give her a new album. The something for the hotties wasn't enough. You didn't have like what was I think like ten to twelve new songs in order for you to drop. Again, these motherfuckers put in the contract to what classify as an album. Again, and it's weird and you have to wait a certain amount of months to drop a new one or unless it's called like a EP or a mixtape, EP or mixtape, they don't count towards your album. Like it's full, it's full gazy as shit. You could look at NBA YoungBoy. This nigga dropped like twenty something projects, but yeah, he's he finally delivered the last slimy to, and that was the last album in his four album deal. Like it's just some fucking bullshit. Before sorry, before I even get into this album, cause I'm not even gonna stop. Hey, what's up? What's happening? It's K. A. Hey, we back in the stand. K. Show good. He sleep with a cut up. But Tony, you know the little nigga on a ton. Hey, last subscribe. Help your boy out. Help your boy grow. Got a mob strong like a navy. Now I apologize to the hot girls, okay? I ain't here to disrespect your queen. I seen her on P Valley. I enjoyed that episode too. Shout out my nigga Little Murder. Shout out my nigga Little Murder. Yeah, man. I enjoyed that shit, but we here to talk about real. If you want the real review, and I'm gonna keep it a book, I'm gonna keep it a book. Now, like I said, this ain't for me. I'm a guy. Probably to y'all, to y'all women, this shit rock like a motherfucker. But to me, I'm not. This promiscuous little Harley was just talking about fucking too much for me. I, yo, there was some songs I'm like, all right. But honestly, there were some songs I enjoyed. Probably, I probably like this one. Good News, whatever that album was called. Bro, I did not fuck with that album. I'm not going like, I like Tina Snow and Fever and all that shit, but like, Good News to this day now. Now, I was thinking she going to send a little bit more shots at Tori. She she mentioned them here and there like on fucking, what's that? Who Me with the Pooh Shiesty song. Probably my favorite, with featuring Pooh Shiesty, probably my favorite song out this shit. She mentioned him here and there. She was mostly talking about Kelsey or referencing Kelsey. A few slick lines here and there referencing Kelsey. So it is what it is. Now, this is Raw Thoughts. I ain't going around. I ain't remember all them lines. But there is 18 songs on here. By the way, shout out my nigga Sauce Walker. Got on this beach. You, you did his thing too. Had a nice verse. Shout out my nigga Sauce Walker. But anyways, we're going to name all the songs on the album. So track one, NDA. Track two. That was a good song. Actually, that song. Track two, I'm grateful featuring Cook. Key Glock, shout out Key Glock, it was that. Track 3, not, not nice, was cool. Track 4, with budget with Big Lotto, or Lotto, you know what I'm saying? It was cool. Track 5, Hurt, did not like that song. Track 5, Gift and... It was okay. It was okay. Track 7, Miss Nasty, no. Track 8, Who's Me? Who Me? Yes, favorite song. Track 9, The Red Night, no. Track 10, Scary, eh. Track 11, I did like Anxiety. I did like that song. Track 11, I liked it. I like Flip Flop as well. Track 12, that was a good song. Consistency... With Janae Aiko. Yeah. Star. Was cool. 14. Pressure Licious with Future. Didn't really fuck with that. I'm not gonna lie. Shout out Future. I like his verse, but whatever. Track 16, Plan B. Now, I see what she was doing. This is the thing. And I can recognize. I see what she was doing. Especially with the video. I see what she was coming with. It's not for me. But I don't hate the song. It's cool. It's cool. Track 17, Southside Royalty Freestyle. Like I said, I enjoyed this song. Shout out my nigga Sauce Walk. Did this thing. And track 18, Sweet as Fire with her and Dua Lipa. It wasn't a bad song. It's just, bitch, I've been heard this shit. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. I was just like, oh. This is how you're going to end the fucking album. Listen, I don't mind if y'all have, like, some older songs and y'all decide to put it on the album. I don't mind. Just don't end the album with a song we've been heard. Like, use the new material. You know what I'm saying? Don't use a song we've been heard. 
if there was one critique I could give to the Rod Wave project, it would be that, bro. Give us some new, don't end it off with the old shit, you hear me, that we've been heard. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. That's the only thing with the shit. But anyways, unless she gonna give us a deluxe, we'll see. And then also, yeah, so that's all the songs. Now, this is one thing I gotta say, and I do agree with Joe Budden. Basically, the Joe Budden podcast, it was like, yo, this wasn't really pushed like that. Now, again... We know Meg is having tr troubles with Carl Crawford in 1501, but besides them having problems, this is like their like fucking number one artist on that fucking label. Regardless of the problems you have with her, you should you should be pushing this. It's not in everybody's faces like that. I feel like good news was pushed in everybody's face way more than this. This came out and it was what it was. It's not bad music. Like I said, I'm surprised how many songs I did like. And some songs was actually cool. You know what I'm saying? We prefer this way more than fucking... What's that other one called? Good news. I did not like that shit. But with that being said, like... It, it was what it was. It was what it was. I don't know, like, if it's really the label. Like, because she's been everywhere. Like I said, she's been on P-Valley. She's been everywhere. She's been winning every award. But, like... I don't feel like they pushed it enough. Maybe they felt like they didn't have to do enough. Like she was on. I don't know. I feel like it wasn't pushed enough. But I personally could be wrong. I just feel that way. But like I was saying. It was good music. Again. I Her singing on a couple of the songs. I was really surprised. Like fucking Star with Lucky Day. Like I was just like wow. I was just surprised. Like she was kind of switching it up a little bit. And I'm like okay. You know what I'm saying. I wasn't even mad at it. She kind of switching it up. Trying some new shit. Wasn't mad at none of the features on here, to be honest. None of them was really mad. I was happy Sauce Walker was on here. Not mad at anybody on here. And the beat selection was nice. Now, like, I think my only problem is the subject matter. Like I said, it's I'm a guy. Her talk about fucking all the time doesn't appeal to me. I know a woman's going to be like, oh, but the niggas talk about oh, fucking all the bitches, man. I don't give a fuck about them lines. I ain't going to lie. I don't know what it is, bro. I be on the Pooh Shiesty fucking ESTG wave, bro. I, 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 I need to talk your street shit. I ain't gonna lie. All that other shit, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bro. But then, you know what's funny? But, like, yo, that future line, I just fucked your bitch. It's some Gucci flip. Like, that shit was like so fucking hard but like again i don't know y'all just gotta sauce it up a little bit i think that's what she need to do she needs to sauce it up for me a little bit but like she doing her thing one song i dislike is her that shit all right the fucking basura trash you know what i'm saying some of that shit red wine i dislike as well you know that there's a cut yeah there's about like two three songs i don't fuck with at all miss nasty i don't like this shit either but like yeah but like yeah she got some good like nda cool I like NDA. Not nice is cool. The song with Big Lotto is cool. You know what I'm saying? I really like the Pooh Shiesty song. Who me? You know, she dissed Tori. Like, how am I did? If a nigga ain't tall as me in heels, like, why, why the fuck we rocking? Like, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. Just some slay shit. She was talking about Kelsey. I tried to help you out. Like, in various of the songs, especially the opening songs. You know, what else I like? I like Scary Rico. That it was cool. Anxiety and Flip Flop. I really do like them tracks. The solos tracks is what I really do fuck with them tracks. Of course, the track uh, Southside Royalty Freestyle. I fuck with Plan B. I see what she was doing. I fuck with it. The future track. Yeah, yeah I like aspects. I like aspects. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it wasn't a bad album. I really do prefer this over Good News. I did not fuck with that album. I really prefer this over good news and something for the audience was like a fucking compilation at this point. But yeah, it was good. I feel like it should have been pushed more. But again, I don't know. I feel like maybe now with the new subgenre of fucking rap, like there's literally like, especially if you look at the Bronx wave, these females just talking like niggas at this point. Not to say like at this point, like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't really on that like cute shit, like. Not cute shit, but you know the twerking and all that bullshit. Like, yo, yeah, I fuck this, whatever, blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how Cardi and and Meg and Nicki be doing. And I think that's my thing. Maybe at this point I don't want to hear that because I'm pretty sure if a girl heard this, they would really fuck with this shit. But yeah, man, honestly, like I said before, like the Tina Snow shit, like the Fever, like them was better for me. And I'm a dude. Like I said, it doesn't really appeal to me. As much as a woman, just like the city girls, wouldn't appeal to me as much as a girl listening to them. But still, I just, I don't know. Like, it's just weird. But I will say, I did enjoy this one way more than good news. I did. Solid work. Not too long. You know what I'm saying? Time flew by. 
It was a good time. I ain't even mad at this. And there is money behind this album, but I just don't know why it hasn't been pushed like that. I feel like it should be pushed more. Out of that weekend, more niggas were talking about the game dissing niggas on his fucking album than Meg shit. I didn't really hear about Meg shit. More niggas was talking about the game and what he was doing on his fucking project. By the way, I gotta listen to all that shit. 30 songs, my nigga. God damn. God damn. <laughs> I do this shit. Fuck. But hey, man. Listen, Meg, keep doing your thing. This was a solid project. I ain't even mad at it. Go check it out, especially if you're a Meg The Stallion fan. Especially if you want to hear some new shit by her. Because, like, she, she, ex not experimented, but, like, she had some, she, she tried a little bit of some new shit. So I ain't even mad at it. So go check it out. You're going to get tired of the sexual talk. I ain't going to lie. You're going to get tired of it. I just, I, at some points, I just had to turn off a couple songs. Cause again, I'm a nigga, okay? <laughs> to the women, they probably fuck with this shit. To me, some of them shits, I'm like, all right, bitch. All right, all right. Skip this motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. But besides that, man, that pool shiesty, though. That pool shiesty was hot, nigga. I'll, I'll bump that shit out to go listen to fucking to Back in Blood again. It restore the feeling. But honestly, in general, the rapping skills are there. Again, I, I don't like the sexual talk as much, but like, again, she's doing her thing. The skill is there. She's not mumbling. It's clear when she talk. You can definitely see there's money behind this, and she's doing her thing. And I pr really enjoyed this better than the last effort, which was good news. So, yeah, go check this out, especially if you make the Stallion fan. If you're not really a Make the Stallion fan, but you can fuck with a couple songs, go check this shit out, basically. I think the difference is Lotto got a one two song that even though you a nigga, you can fuck with. Like, Trust No Bitch and Sunshine with Wayne and Childhood. Like, certain song, like, even though you a dude, you can fuck. Like, Meg don't really, like, again, she not really like, hey, I can't, yeah. She don't make a shit where, yeah, a nigga could just vibe on and rock with, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's the difference, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, there was a couple songs on a lot of shit, like, I still, like, I'll, I'll fuck with it, like I said. But, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. But, yeah, go check this shit out. Again. Better effort than last time, and hey, if y'all if y'all know who else she sneaked this in, or there's some sneak disses I missed, please put that shit in the comments down below, and check out the links in the description. I got some other vids there too. And besides all this, your friendly neighborhood KA sign off for today. The Black TJ there while doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more. And I'm gone. Slime Zoom, peace, y'all, Elsh gang. Aye.